Hey guys, this is Larry with Backmasters Dog Training, and this is eight month old female Weimariner Freeha. Freeha is here for a one week boarding train, and uh, she doesn't have any major. Well, yeah, that's <laughs> there you go. There's one of the problems, okay? She's a jumper, she pulls, normal stuff, nothing, nothing major. All that stuff will be fixed this week. But you guys asked, a bunch of you asked, what I do when I do a boarding train? Very simple today. Part one is going to be so unbelievably boring I, I really don't do much she came with this short slip lead I'm gonna be using that right now I'm not gonna be using any commands I'm not gonna be talking a lot day one we just hang out we bond we start building that relationship I'll do a little leash work with her a little pressure okay very light pressure just getting her to go see she just starts to learn to follow the leash okay real simple stuff I'm gonna work at doorways I'll put her up on different objects, but without ever saying anything, without giving commands. All right, she's just learning to pay attention to me. That's it. You know, I have food on me. I'll make it fun for her. All right, all right. It's a game. It's all fun. We just play. We have a good time. Good. Okay. Now I'm assuming when I open this door, she's gonna want to bolt through it. But I work a lot of doorways. That's important to me. I know it's not to a lot of people. Yeah, that's good. That's what, we, that's what we want. We want her respecting that space. That's it. Just pay attention to me. I don't want her bolting through doors and stuff. Good girl. Good. Notice there, I'm antagonizing her with the food, holding my hands out to the side, rewarding. I'm not even using a marker word yet. We'll start working on that later tomorrow. I'm just rewarding the eye contact. That's what I'm rewarding right there. Good. So, look, a little pressure that way, reward this way. It's nothing. It's nothing planned. It's just, just being with the dog. Just being. Letting the leash do the work. Okay guys, this is uh, early morning day two of free has stay here and uh, we're just going to go outside and do a little more leash work here for, for a few minutes.
Okay, so here, instead of using valuable treats that they like, I'm using her kibble. She's a really, really picky eater and she hasn't eaten, which is normal the first day for a dog when, when they go away. But uh, she, I don't think she even likes the food very much, so she'll spit it out, so she's not eating. So today I'm gonna to start using her food when we train, but instead of just hand feeding it to her, I tried to give her some out of my hand and she spit it out. I'm gonna get her to try to chase the food a little bit. A lot of times if you're throwing the food and making a game out of it and having them chase it, it brings out that drive and they'll eat it and they'll have a good time with it. So she'll get to eat while we're playing, okay? And, and I'm, I'm starting to use commands now. The owners want me to use German commands, so. Don't make fun of my accent, please. So we're going to start with the basics now. Here you go, seats. Ooh. Ah, good. That way she ate it. See, so you make a little game. Let her chase the food. That brings out natural instincts. Here you go, here. Ooh. Oh, you don't want that one. See, she didn't take that. There she goes. Free your seats. Free your torch. Ooh. Didn't see it. There you go. Good. Good. Free it here. Free your seats. Now, nah, seats. Good. Free of flats. Good. Good, that brings out a little life there and she's eating. So that's how she's gonna eat her food now. By the way, too, you see I have a choke collar on her. I haven't used a, a choke chain in years, but they just have a flat buckle collar on her and it fits real loose. And she likes to take off and pull. And I won't use a flat buckle collar with a dog like that for two reasons. For one, she can slip out of it very easily and I don't want to lose anyone's dogs. And for two, when she gets to the end of that flat buckle collar running full speed, you can really do a lot of damage to, to the throat area. So I had this old choke chain, doesn't fit her, it's too big, but it serves a purpose. I want to show you something else too. She's starting to follow on the leash without taking off and pulling. Everyone has trouble out there walking their dog. Very, very simple. When I took her out last night with the choke chain on for the first time in the 15 foot line, she took off like a bat out of hell, okay? Just went off. The second she got to the end of that line, I turned and went the other way. Just went the other way. She corrected herself very hard too. She did that two times and then there was no more pulling and taking off. She'll walk up and down the street right by my side. You have a behavior like that, guys, you don't like, stop it, period, that quick. It was that easy, then she learned just to start looking at me, paying attention to me. So like, this is early morning, day two, and we're just starting to introduce the commands now. Free your seats. Cool. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Free your seats. Free the door. Good job. That's how she's gonna eat, because she won't eat from a food bowl. She doesn't want to. She's dumped it over three times now. Come on, girl. Let's go. Free again. Good. There you go. Good job. Good job. Free again. Free your seat. Good. See, that's it. Just a little bit of feeding in the morning. That's what we'll do now. This is her first morning here, and we're still just getting to know her. Later on, I'm gonna introduce the e-collar. We start doing the e-collar conditioning. So I'm just showing you little bits here of, of the process. Nothing's planned. I take it, you know, as the dog comes, every dog's different. So this is what will, I think, will be a, a good thing for her right now. Get her comfortable, get her eating, get her wanting to work. Good job, but, uh. And later on, like I said, we'll introduce her to the e-collar for the first time, and we'll show you that, okay? Thanks. Okay, okay 
Okay guys, it's uh, still day two. It's a couple hours after the, uh, the morning session. I do have the e-collar on her now for the first time. Hey, 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 come here, come here. So I just got back from a private session. It's a couple hours later. We're gonna start conditioning her to the e-collar right now. So we haven't done anything yet. And I'm going back to the high value treats. I like the Red Barn and the Natural Balance stuff. The dogs really like that because I wanna make this a really positive association for her, okay? So we're gonna start right now. This is the first time she has the e-collar on. I haven't checked her levels or nothing yet. So just like we always do, um, this is where we're gonna start, okay? Hey, leave it, leave it. So we have it on and she's at a one right now. So keep an eye on the dog. Okay, you see that little look right there? See her look behind her? So now we know she's feeling it. She's on a number seven on the mini educator, okay? So now we know she's feeling it. We're gonna just relax, take our time, and we're gonna give her the end of the leash. All right, so we have a 15 foot line for a reason. So I got some food here. I'm not using the, the handheld so you can hear what I'm using the e-collar because when we're starting off with the dogs, they react to that. I don't like adding the sound to it. So you know how I condition the dogs, you know what I'm doing. I'm gonna start off with the tap after the command right now. So watch the dog, okay? Here you come. Ooh. And then we make her chase her. If you remember, she's chasing the food. We're adding that to it. She's not a big eater, so we gotta make it fun for her, okay? Good job. Bria here. Good. Atta a girl. That's a good job. Good job. Bria here. So there, she didn't respond at first, so with light leash pressure, and it was a tap, 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 and on the third tap, she turned around. That's when the tapping stops, and that's where the reward comes. But like I said, as far as rewarding goes, she's not very interested in food, so we have to get her there. Bria here. Go! Atta girl. See, no food. So we're not going to use food right now. I'm going to use praise. So I'm getting away from the food. She has no food motivation, no food drive. Don't try to force it. It'll come in a couple of days. Okay? It'll come in a couple of days. Here you here. Good girl. Good girl. That's what we want, so it'll just all be praise now. And as you're going, guys, every dog's gonna be different. You do what you have to do. So if there's no food drive there, we don't use food. That, that's it, plain and simple, we use praise. We work, we use whatever works for that specific dog. Come on, girl. Yep. Good girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. Good job. Good job. Now remember, if I say yes, or in German, gut with whatever they want to use, um, once I give her that marker word, it's also a release. So the marker word means you did exactly what I asked, come get your reward, which right now is just praise, and then she doesn't have to stay by my side. Now if I were to call her to me, ask her to come to me, and I don't mark it, then I need her to stay around me like this, close by. I'm not releasing her yet, okay? Good job. Good girl, yeah. That's a good girl. I know. It's all brand new, right? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Happy. 
she's all tangled up. Okay, here, she's all tangled in the leash. She's scratching. Okay, so you see guys, that's a mess. That's that's reality. That that happens. That's sloppy and messy, but that's that's what really happens. So now we fix it. Priya, here? Cool. Good job. Good job, girl. That's a good girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. I know, here? And then I tap. Good. Good. Priya, here. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Free dog. Good girl. And release her. Good job. That's a good job. And you take your time. Like I said, this is very step step one here. Watch your feet there, Sophia. Step over it. Priya, here. That's good. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's my girl. That's it. That's her reward now. Praise. Praise and affection, okay? She doesn't want food. This is what we get. So this is how we're teaching the e-collar right now. And it's going to be very, very short here. Okay, very short. Pretty idea. Good. Yeah. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Ah, yeah. So... You look at this dog, okay? She's real hyper, she's skittish. The e-collar stimulation is completely unknown to her. She has no clue what this is, no clue. The reason why we keep it so simple, I'll do this several times throughout the day. Just condition her to the here, that's it. Feeling the e-collar on the low levels over and over and over until it is known. So in another day or two, it will no longer be a completely unknown entity. She will understand it. That's where the clarity will come from, okay? So where people go wrong, they slap the e-collar on the dog and <laughs> ask the dog to do something here, and then they start going up on levels, higher, 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 until the dog has to turn it off that way. That's not dog training, people. That is not dog training. That is garbage. You'll see those same trainers walking around saying, look how awesome my dog is off leash. And if you notice, the dog's real flat, looking all crummy, and the hands are in the pockets. You know why the hands are in the pockets of those trainers? Because they got the remote in there, and they're kicking the dog's ass the second the dog thinks of moving away. Not dog training. So although this isn't very pretty, this is sloppy, this is day one, this is reality. We're going to teach her, and she's going to leave here in one week completely knowledgeable of what that unknown stimulus is. But more importantly, she'll be trained and happy. She'll be happy. There will be no, there will be no lack of confidence there. Okay? What do you think? So she's close. Free a here. Tap. Good. Good job. Good job, girl. Good job. Here. Good girl. Good girl. Aha. That's my girl. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Good. So here I'm just doing baby steps, guys. She's right next to me. Here, one step away. Good. That's it. And I'm going to literally keep it that short for now. Free dog for you. I'm going to keep it that short, and I'm not doing anything else. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to play a little. We're going to let her play with the other dogs, maybe throw a toy. But we're keeping it that short. So this is the very, very first step to conditioning to the e-collar. All right? And like I said, there's nothing exciting about that. Nothing pretty about that. She doesn't know what's going on. But give me a day or two, she will. I promise you. Hope this helps. Girl. Hey, folks. Um, still day two here. You just got done watching the last part where we started introducing Freya to the e-collar. It was actually a, a terrible session on my part. It was terrible, terrible, terrible training. It was sloppy. It was awful. Um, but you have to put that stuff in there. You have to let people see the bad with the good, you know, because as dog trainers, not everything is perfect what we do. And, and for the young trainers out there, they're going to learn a lot more when they see the mistakes and they know that everything isn't perfect. So for you young folks out there, don't be scared to show your stuff, okay? Uh, that was real bad, but it's going to be in there. You're going to see everything. 
So in, in Freya's case, I don't like doing one week boarding trains. I usually do two week boarding trains or three week. Um, but her owners were gonna be away. They wanted to do the one week and they live really far away. I don't mind doing a one week if I could follow up with two or three private lessons, but they're too far to do that. So I, I was kind of pushing myself, going a little too quick, and she's not ready to start the e-collar conditioning yet. She's way too nervous and skittish of a dog. So I need to build up that confidence a little more and just a lot of leash work and get her to eat some, some treats and, and have a good time with her before I move further. So I'm gonna slow it down and get back to some a little, little bit of leash work today. And this is on day two, and this is the last thing I'll do today, and then we'll just go for a walk later, okay? So we're, we're gonna get started. And I have the high value stuff in here too, so hopefully she'll take it from me. Freya, ready? You ready, girl? All right, you ready? Ready? Freya, here? Cool! Ah, good, taking the food, that's good. Freya, here? Food! That's my girl, that's my girl, let's do this. Free your sits. Good. Get her to chase it. Very nice. Ah, now she's looking better. Free your seats. Free your door. Good. Ah, that's my girl. That's what I want to see. That's what I want. That's what I want. So I just want an upbeat dog right now. That's it. We're gonna we're gonna build her up before we do anything else. Free your sits. Good. Good eye contact. There we go. There we go. Free your sit. Free your plots. Good. There we go. Go get it. Free your here. Good. There we go. Good. Ready, girl? Ready? Go get it. 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 Free your here. Good. Good. But you see, we got her moving now. We got her moving. That's what I want. That's what I want. Okay. Freya, here. Good. So see, sometimes I'm giving by hand. Sometimes I'm throwing. But we're moving. I just want her moving and having fun. Ah, good. I didn't ask for that. She offers reward it. Very nice. Go on. she's falling off things she's got so much energy that's good that's that's what I want that's what I want now I'm about to end it right here okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just ask her for something simple and then I'm gonna give her a big handful of food not one piece I'm just gonna throw it all down there and give her the one jack more thing real quick here Freya sit Boosh. turn it good there we go sit Boosh. Good. Okay, ready? All right, this is it. We're gonna end it. We're gonna end it. So I got a big handful of food. Bring it here. Good. There you go. Have fun. Have at it. And that's it. Now she eats. Now she's moving, guys. Now she's moving. For another day, I'm gonna just spend time rocking with her, building her up. Then we'll go to the e collar conditioning. I'm not gonna work that. She may only be here a week, but we got to take her time. You can't rush it. You got to do it right. Peace. Hey, guys. This is uh, Larry again. This is day five with Freya, the young Weimariner here. It's, it, you're watching all one video, so we're just doing. I went a few days without taping, uh, without filming her. Let me tell you where we're at right now. Um, I'm just transitioning to the very long line, 30, 40 feet here today. Um, to start getting her ready to be off leash. So I go to the real long line before I let her go completely off leash without a fenced in area. Um, so you saw the first couple of days we filmed. Day three, today's day five, so day three, we definitely had a setback. Um, her big issues was were she, she, she wound up being very, very skittish and freaked out by a lot of things. She wasn't eating, which is normal for a lot of boarding trains, maybe day one, but she didn't eat much. I guess she does have these issues at home. She was barely drinking, you know, didn't want nothing to do with nothing. Um, so what wound up happening was day three, the training was going good, and then all of a sudden she decided, I asked her to plots for me to down, and she decided she's not going down anymore, and she knows down very well. So I tried to help her, put her in a down. I used the leash, did different things we do to get a dog. To, and I mean nothing. I mean, she decided she wasn't doing it anymore. And uh, 
I mean, really fighting hard. So I tried to make her go into a down and it got ugly. Like she thrashed and went crazy. And if you would have seen it, you would have thought I was, I was hurting this dog or something. And, and of course I wasn't. So instead of forcing her to do it and making a, a, a bad situation in her mind worse, I just let her be. I didn't force her to do anything. I put her away, I let her rest, and then we came back later on and started working. Um, went back our regular training all over to things you've seen the first couple of days. Same stuff over and over, just getting better at it. And then day four yesterday, or maybe the end of day three, I decided, okay, now you have to do what I ask, period. Because she knows how to do this. She's just deciding I'm not going to work for you anymore. So I made her go into a down, and she fought really hard. Okay, when I say make, I don't mean punished her or corrected her. I physically helped her, pulling her legs out, putting her down, did everything I could while she's fighting me. And the second that I got her down, even though she was fighting and didn't want to do it, the second I got her body down, man, I praised it and rewarded it and made a big deal about it. Like she just did the greatest thing in the world, even though she had nothing to do with it. Okay, I let her up, we moved around, I, I, I kept up beat, and then 10 seconds later, I went to put her down again. She fought. This time a little less. Got her down. I praised it. Big deal. Like she just did a wonderful thing. No food or nothing. Just excitement. Moved around again. And then the same thing. I went to put her down the third time. And she went fairly easy this time. And then right there I praised her big. And I ended it. I put her away. Okay. The very next time we came out to work her. This cracked me up. I didn't expect this. She came out. She was upbeat. She went down on her own, I rewarded big time. Then she placed on her own, I rewarded big time. She was doing everything on her own without me asking, going, hey, look look at me, you know? So that was a pretty great thing to see. The interesting thing though, after that, after I refused to let her stay in a very unstable state, all of a sudden she started eating all of her food in front of me. Before she wouldn't even eat in front of me when she did eat her dog food. She would eat when no one was around. So she started eating her food in front of me. She started drinking. She started playing with the dogs and being more active. So just the fact that I would not let her stay in that crummy state of mind brought her out of that and got her normal. Okay, so I'll stop talking now. I'm rambling on here. But um, there is a point to this. So now, like I said, we're transitioning to the long line. And we're going to just start working her a little bit with the long line. Nothing fancy. Same stuff. She's only here for a week. I don't do one week board and trains usually. I like two. The second week would be proofing everything, but this just so happened that's what we had to do. So we're gonna continue to work. What do you think, Freya? Let's go. All right, girl. Freya, Dort. Dort. Good, over, Dort. Good, Freya. See, now we're starting hand signals too. Freya, over, Dort. Good girl. Good girl. Free dog for you. Free dog. Good. Good. Ah, good girl. See, she likes to offer a lot of behaviors on her own. She's getting into to working now and likes to participate on her own. So I'm just letting her be. I'm not going to keep giving her commands. Ah, good girl. Yeah. Good job. You see? Once they get going, then they start offering things. She enjoys the game, and it's just a good game to her. Good, good girl, Freya. Good girl, free dog. Free dog, free dog Freya. Okay, Freya, let's go. So now we're gonna just walk a little bit, and I'll go. <laughs> yes, I know. I know you know this. You know this so well. You know this so well. See, she's just happy. She's excited to, to know how to do this stuff and wants to do it on her own now. So she keeps offering all kinds of behaviors. And that's nice. Come on, let's go. Follow me, Sophia. We're going to walk a little bit. Let's go. Oops. Come on, Priya. Let's go. Boost. Atta girl. Good. 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 Good.
you see there's a lot of attention now. Free here. Free of plats. Good. But you notice guys, no e-collar. Okay, e-collar's in, in my pocket here. Okay, so she gets to a point very fast. If you're doing the e-collar correctly, you don't have to walk around like this, waiting for the dog to make a mistake, okay? It's not e-collar training. That's not good e-collar training. Come on, girl, let's go. Let's go, come on. Oh, come on, let's go. Come on, come on, let's go. Good girl, Freya. Good girl, free dog. Free dog, Freya. Atta girl. Listen, guys, this is boring stuff to you, not to her, though. Okay, she's having a good time. So, the most important part for me at this point, at day five, she's been completely taken out of that shell, that terrible shell that she went into for a while. And now she wants to participate. She wants to play. She wants to do things. And she's happy. And, uh, and she's great with the e-collar too, you know? She's doing very, very well, and that's what it's supposed to be. Come on, girl, here. That girl, oh, who's my girl? Who's my girl? Look at that. Dort. Who's my girl? Come on, over, Dort. Good. Over, Dort. Over, Dort. Good girl, Freya, free dog. Let's see. Very quick, she's learning the hand signals. So if we had another week with her, man, she she would really, <laughs> she would really be ready to rock. So again, nothing fancy, guys. In a one-week board and train, we have to practice all the basics: the sits, the down, the place, the come, the walking on a loose leash, leave it, stuff like that. And we have to do it over and over and over. They learn through repetitions, repetitions. So I spend. 10 minutes at a time, 15 minutes at a time working her, and then we're done. That's it. Same stuff over and over. I'll probably only get to film her one more time because my, my camera girl won't be around to film. And so uh, I think later I'm just going to let her off leash with the dogs to run and have a good time. And we'll see how that goes. Hey guys, Thanks. Larry again. It's a little later on, day five, from the last scene that you saw. Uh, this will be the last chance I get to film. So Freya goes home in two days. I'm just going to let her off and play a little bit right now, okay? And uh, as far as the board and train goes, once she gets picked up, I'll meet with her owners, spend a couple hours training them, working with them, teaching them, and then in a few more weeks, we'll meet again and do the same thing. So let's just go have some fun. She, she's earned it now, okay? Um, she's doing pretty well with all the basics. Now it's just a matter of, of giving her the repetitions that she needs and practicing. All right, come on, guys. Let's go. Come on, Freya. Come on, girl. Go get her, Luca. Go get her, Freya. Oh. <laughs> Watch out, Sophia. <laughs> Come on, Luca. See, guys? That's what it's all about. She gets to have fun now. Thanks.